Hello and welcome to our Create Better Health series over physical activity. This episode is over the topic of injury prevention. This is presented by Abilene Taylor County Public Health District. So let's get into it. So jumping off, we need to look at the definition of an injury. There are a lot of different types of injuries and this is just kind of a general overview. So injury is pretty much anything that happens when something damages or harms the body. There are things like immediate injuries. So some examples might be stuff like bruises, cuts, ankle sprains, as well as any sort of bump from running into things or falling onto something that does not cause any serious issues. And then we have long-term injuries. Some examples are osteoporosis, arthritis, and things like tennis elbows. And with long-term injuries and acute injuries, neither of these are at all complete lists of the types of injuries that can fall into these two categories or the type of injuries that might not fall into either of these two categories. So some tips to help prevent injury. First off, if needed, talk to your doctor before starting any sort of new physical activity especially if you have not been physically active in a long time or you have any sort of health condition where it may interact in one way or another, your doctor might be able to give you some good guidelines on the type of exercises to start, about how much time you should be exercising, what time of the day, as well as if it interferes with any sort of medication. So if any of that seems like it might potentially be concerned for you, it is very important to talk to your doctor beforehand. Another tip is to choose the type of physical activity that is appropriate for your current fitness level. So don't immediately try and go run a marathon or don't immediately try and start to do a full on push up. You wanna make sure that you are doing a type of physical activity that helps your body doesn't just damage it. So making sure that you're doing a type of physical activity that's appropriate for you and building up from there is gonna be how you actually help your health as well as starting off exercising for a few minutes and then adding time as the exercises become easier. This can also look like adding extra reps as exercises become easier, or adding extra weight or resistance whenever exercises become easier. Generally, you don't want to start off immediately exercising for like an hour or starting off with really heavy weights or anything like that. Instead, you want to start off a bit smaller so that your body can get more accustomed to it and you can help build up that health without causing injury to yourself. Another very important thing is to wear clothes that you can move in and good comfortable shoes with good support. The type of clothes that you wear can cause injury to yourself, whether it's something like overheating or slipping. Generally, making sure that you're wearing appropriate clothes is very important for making sure that you are exercising without potentially getting injured. And then, of course, drink a lot of water before and after exercise. Typically, whenever you are actively exercising, you want to drink, I believe, about eight ounces of water for every 20 minutes that you are exercising. That might be more for certain people. And then also drink sports drinks whenever you are sweating a lot. Typically, sports drinks are not super recommended. However, if you are sweating a lot and you really do need those extra electrolytes, this can be helpful depending on if you have any conditions that might interact with that. And of course, make sure that you stretch before and after any sort of exercise. This also helps make sure that you are getting some flexibility movement in, but it also helps make sure that you prevent certain injuries that might come from not stretching as well as prevent so much soreness so you're not as sore the next day. And then of course, breathe. So do not hold your breath while exercising. Generally, you want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And generally, you want to make sure that you are having consistent, strong breaths. Because whenever you're exercising, your body is pumping more blood and thereby it needs more oxygen. And then overall, listen to your body. Know your limits. The most important thing is that you do not cause harm to yourself. Sometimes that might mean that you might not be able to do everything that you want to do in that moment. However, it is very important to listen to what your body needs, if it needs food, if it needs water, if it needs a break and to stop. Really make sure that you do listen to your body. So for resistance training specifically, you typically want to make sure that you work out every different type of muscle group. So the different muscle groups would be things such as your legs, your hips, back, abdomen, chest, shoulders, and arms. So everyone has different muscle groups that they need to work out. 
and making sure that you're doing all of them throughout the week is the best way to ensure that you are having a well-rounded approach to whatever your health goals are. Thank you so much for listening. And our next episode is going to be over recommendations and review because that's going to be the last episode of the physical activity course.